Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have had lots and lots of requests for inexpensive decorating or decorating ways for a wedding. Now this is one of the ideas that I've come up with and these are so easy to make and if you're getting married and you get your girls around, once you've mastered these you can have a, a really lovely uh, craft-a-thon towards your wedding. Now they're just basically, bought, they're just little round balls and they've just got covered in little crepe paper uh, roses which are so easy to make and these all clustered, let me just show you, these clustered together are absolutely fabulous. Now this is one that I made ages ago and I think I called it a flower bomb and that's just little heads of flowers you can do it in either fresh or artificial but it does take a lot of flowers to make these now as I said really easy to make and these are the things that you need a polystyrene ball in a size to suit whatever the and remembering that the the smaller the ball the smaller the completed article is going to be um, and the bigger it is the more roses you're going to have to make so think about that as you're going through but I think that a group of different cut sizes all look really lovely together right you also need some pins and you need some string or some ribbon and of course let me just get rid of these because I don't want these at the moment and the other thing that you need is some crepe paper and this is so economical a whole heap of this for about two dollars so you know you can't be complaining about that right the first thing you need to do is to mark out get your open up your strips and then the other thing to remember is the wider the strip the white the bigger the rose is going to be so it's just a matter of just marking through here and then just cutting all the way down now here's a bit that I've got here and this is the size that I wanted and it is it's quite a good idea to have them all round about the same size so it's just a matter of just cutting down there as you go just like this cut all of these out before you start and that's all very self-explanatory and I am sure that you'll be able to master that right once you get to there the next thing is to open up your strips of paper and I cut mine to about, I don't know, just about 14 inches. So cut all of those before you start. I always like to cut things before I start and have everything done so that I don't have to stop and start. Right, put those to there and then I'm gonna go back forward just a little bit to just get this sorted out. Right, what I've done here is just get your ball and I use a little pin, which I just pin through there to hold the bit of jute or string in place then bring that around and knot that off there and you could use a bit of hot glue if you wanted to but I think the pin the pin works just as well for what I'm doing here and then determine how long that you want them to be and then cut that to the length so that that's all ready to start and the other thing I like to do is to have a little bow on them and it's just a matter of just getting well a little bow always looks good doesn't it and I love this so these are sort of like really lovely and sort of shabby chic in look which is all the rage at the moment cut that to there and then we'll just make a bow whoops nice bow like that and I've used a double one there and then just sort of, you can leave those as they are, cut them to whatever length that you want to. I quite like them with all the little long bits like that and we tails. Right, getting rid of that and we won't need that and anything else that's surplus to requirement. Right, let me show you how you make these roses. Now that'd be nice if it was cut straight, but however, it's not. Right, fold that like so, along there, like that. And then not, don't sort of um, fold it too tightly. Then it's just a matter of rolling this up like this. Roll that into like a wee tight, not too tight, just like that. And then the next thing is to just, as you're doing it, just roll that around and pinch it. Take that around to there and pinch it. And just sort of like bending that out or folding that out as you go. And as it twists around, you just get these lovely little roses that just grow and grow as you turn them round. And if you wanted to, just give that a wee pull like that so that that little petal goes out. Keep going until you get around to there. And then what I do is squeeze that like that and then using wet fingers, because it will stick to this, just give that a wee roll so that you've got your little wee roses. Now for a ball this size, it'll take a whole ream or roll of the, um, the crepe paper. Right, from there, the next thing to do is to get your hot glue gun and 
what I did was I just cut those bits, that little tail there off, and starting from the base, go to there, and then just keep going. They, these all need to be about the same length as well. So just keep going until you've completely covered the ball. So what I did was I went to there and then put another one there, which I'll do right now to show you. So starting at the base, and I'll just bring that around. These will unravel, so you'll have to hold them, but cut that little pointy bit off. And then it's just a matter of just a little bit of glue into there, and then bringing that around. So I've started there, put another one there, and then push that one into there. So is that not, not so that they're all sitting up, they need to actually push into each other. So just keep going until the whole thing is completely covered and you are left with your little hanging suspended ball with a little bit of ribbon. They look fantastic for a wedding or for a party in the garden, or if you're having a, an, a wedding in a marquee, these all clustered together hanging from the central lights can look quite delicious. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed showing you how to do that, and I will see you another day. Mm -hmm.